Hello, my name is Sean Liming and I am a graduate student of history at Liberty University. And this presentation concerns the tragic death of Jane McRae, uh, who was killed during the American Revolutionary War. Jane McRae was murdered on July 27, 1777 in upstate New York. The traditional, and in my opinion, uh, the most logical account of this event is that Jane was killed by American Indians allied to British forces under the command of General John Burgoyne. Little background information is needed here. As stated by Samuel Edgerton Jr., Burgoyne's armies and Indian allies moved south from Canada through New York with the intention of separating the uh, New England colonies from the rest of the American colonies. Burgoyne delivered a proclamation on Ju June 23, 1777, demanding that Americans give their allegiance to King George and submit to the King's agents or incur the wrath of Burgoyne's Indian allies, regardless if the Americans were Tories or rebels. Uh, Burgoyne promised his Indian allies compensation for prisoners taken, but he also outlawed scalping with the exception of those killed uh, in fair opposition. Ironically, Jane McRae was a Tory. She came from a family divided by the American Revolution. She had both brothers and stepbrothers who fought on the um, uh, Patriot side and the Loyalist sides of this conflict. There are several versions of the circumstances leading to the uh, murder of Jane McRae. As in Laurel Ulrich's article, How Betsy Ross Became Famous, Jane's story, much like that of Betsy Ross, has been left to myth makers and subject to some flimsy material for facts. However, what we do know is that Jane McRae and an older Tory woman, Sarah McNeil, were taken by Indians, either willingly or not, from McNeil's house, with their final destination being the British camp at Fort Edwards. At some point, Jane and Mrs. McNeil became separated. Uh, the Indians either fought among themselves or with another uh, group of Indians over rewards to be gained from the capture of the women. At some point in this conflict, Jane was shot, tomahawked, and scalped. A differing version of this story was that Jane was accidentally shot by Americans trying to rescue her. Even after Burgoyne's uh, recall to uh, England, the Jane McRae incident would continue to haunt him. Uh, during his trial in England, Burgoyne would have certainly blamed the Americans for Jane's death if that was plausible. However, according to both Dolly Stoles and James Holden, Burgoyne never denied that his Indian allies killed Jane. He only claimed her death was accidental. Regardless of the actual circumstances of her death, the atrocity of Jane's death galvanized support for the Patriot cause. According to Jeremy Ingalls and Greg Goodall, the murder of Jane McRae was only one of several Br British atrocities committed during the summer of 1777. On July 26, American Lieutenant Van Vechten and several of his soldiers were killed and mutilated by British auxiliaries near Fort Edward. Also during this time, the entire Allen family was killed and scalped. However, it was the murder of the virtuous and beautiful Jane McRae uh, that was the atrocity that captured the Americans' interest. Every significant American newspaper printed the story of Jane McRae's murder during August and September of 1777. Burgoyne wrote American General Horatio Gates a letter asking for lenient treatment of British prisoners of war. Uh, Gates wrote back a blistering letter which he chastised Burgoyne and accused him of inciting Indian atrocities against Americans, specifically citing the Jane, uh, Jane McRae's murder. The American patriots uh, utilized propaganda based on the Jane McRae murder to stoke anti-British feelings and to challenge British claims of their ability to protect Tories in the colonies. Additionally, the death of Jane McRae affected relationships between Burgoyne and Tory sympathizers, as well as Burgoyne and his Indian allies, who resented the restrictions placed upon them by Burgoyne following the death of Jane McRae. This dissatisfaction resulted in the desertion of Burgoyne's Indian allies. These desertions, along with the decrease of Loyalist support, coupled with the increased support by the Loyalists for the Patriot cause, were all contributing factors to Burgoyne's defeat at Saratoga, which was a turning point in the American Revolutionary War. Like Betsy Ross, Jane McRae's murder, being tied to the American victory at Saratoga, separated her from other Americans and made her an early symbol in American culture. Please note the photo credits. 
as well as the references used uh, in the making of this presentation. Thank you for your time.